Yeah, welcome to online class where we shall be studying mathematics today. In this mathematics lesson, we shall be studying indices. Indices is a very interesting topic and is often set as examination questions in secondary school examinations. In this segment, we shall be looking at 1. The introduction to indices. 2. The index notation. 3. The multiplication law. And four, the division law. Your teacher is Dr. Indifreke Udose. Please have your writing materials to take note as the lesson progresses. Should you have any questions, please write questions down and post them on the website. You shall receive answers as soon as possible. Have a happy viewing. My name is Ndifreke Udosun. Today we will be looking at indices. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to explain the concept of indices and give examples of indices. You should also be able to explain the laws of indices and illustrate with examples to show how these laws hold. And you should be able to apply indices to solve real problems. Index notation is a form of writing expressions in a shorter form. For example, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 can be written in index form as 3 raised to power 5. As you can see, we are simply repeating 3 5 times. So, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you repeat this 5 times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Is written in index notation as 3 raised to the power 5. In other words, 3 happening 5 times. The small number 5 here is called the index or the power, and 3 is called the base. Another example, if you have b times b times b, is written in index notation as b raised to the power 3. 3 is the index or power, and b is the base. Now, question here says, write 18 times 18 times 18 in index notation. You simply write it as 18 raised to power 3. This 18 is the base. And 3 is called the index or power. Now, the second question says, find the value of 2 raised to power 5. That simply means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. In other words, 2, 5 times. And if you multiply all of this, the product is 32. We have several laws of indices. There are about eight of them. We'll be looking at them one after the other. The first is the multiplication law. It says that if numbers with equal bases are multiplied, then their indices are added. If we have a raised to power m times a raised to power m, as we can see, we have equal bases. So we have the same base as here. So what do you do to the indices? You simply have a, m, plus n. This is an example. 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 4. Remember, you have equal basis 2 and 2. Therefore, your answer will be 2. And then you have the indices here, 2 plus 4, which is equal to 2 raised to power 6. And 2 raised to power 6 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times 2 and the answer is 64. So this is an example for you to try out now. What is 3 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 4? This is simply written as 3. Then we have 2 plus 0 plus 4 equals 2. If you add 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6. So we have 3 raised to power 6. 
and the answer is 720. <music>